Hey guys, this is the Ghost of the Ghost Productions. Um, and today I'm going to do Backtrack 5 tutorial on how to make your own distribution of Backtrack. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get Backtrack, you're going to update it, and then you're going to get all the good stuff that you, you want to keep on it. Um, like, let's see, Multimedia, DVD, GTK, VLC, um, Team viewer and blah blah blah. It's more utilities. Um, VMware player, um, remaster sys, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, what you gonna do in order to make your own distribution or to make your own bootable? Well, let's let's back up for a second. Bootable means that it's bootable. Distrib distributable means that you can boot it, and you can also install it. So you can actually hand this out to uh, all your friends. So, what we're going to do, or family, or whoever wants to use it, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, download something called Remaster Sys. And the way you do that is you're going to go to uh, get it, etc apt source dot list. And this line will be omitted. This is not going to be inside of yours. You want to add this line right here. HTTP www.geekconnection.org remaster sys repository space Ubuntu. Add this into your uh, the bottom of your list um, and click save and then exit. And once you do that, you're going to go to update your repository. So you do app dash get update. And after it's updated, which mine looks like it might want to update something, um, you'll do app dash get or app dash get install remaster sys. And after you install Remaster Sys, all you have to do is exit out. It's going to be in your system folder over here, system. And then this right here will roll back. I believe this is, will roll back your kernel because for some reason, um, if you've got your distribution upgrade for Backtrack uh, up to date right now, I don't think that Remaster Sys will work uh, as far as making a distributable copy of distributable copy of your own Backtrack with all your stuff installed and all your settings. Uh, anyways, by using this, it'll roll back your your kernel. I think. Remaster this. We're gonna click this. You're gonna want to have everything closed out. Nothing can be running. Um, okay, and it already warns you about it. Uh, we're gonna be dealing with the top one, which is making a complete system, including user data. This is just gonna be a bootable version of Backtrack that cannot be installed but it's going to have all the good stuff on it and this is going to be a bootable and installable version of Backtrack uh, and these are just variations of that um, you can customize the different options that you have and you can change each one of these uh, exclude files let's say maybe your home folder if it has a lot of stuff inside of it junk that you don't want to be on the disk just anything you want to exclude uh, give the exact file and its location I believe after that uh, you click which one you want, uh, whether it be this one, this one, or these other two, and you click OK, and then it'll ask you to confirm. You click OK again. Let it do its thing. Do not touch your computer. Um, you may want to have, you know, a cooling fan or something underneath it because my computer overheated once when it tried to uh, do it. As you can see, it's kind of got a hot temperature, anyways. But uh, it overheated once, so make sure it's in a cool area and. Uh, it will make that ISO um, and after it makes that ISO it's gonna put it in your home remaster sys and remaster sys folder so just remember that it's gonna be in home if you go to root home uh, it's not gonna be in here because I haven't done one yet well I have one done but it was for backtrack 5R1 um, home and then remaster sys and I think it's gonna be called either remaster sys or there's going to be another remaster sys folder in remaster sys so just remember that if you get any have any problems get stuck well, after you make yours just go online they'll tell you exactly where to find it um, after you get the ISO I suggest moving the ISO over to a uh, a Windows machine and then using something like power ISO to burn it and I'd usually burn it about 2x or 4x um, 4x is the highest I would go. I usually use 2x, and I'll verify the written data. But uh, yeah, you just use any kind of ISO burner, or and I'm I'm sure you guys know what ISO burner is and how exactly to do it because you have Backtrack 5, correct? Good deal. Anyways, that's my video on how to make your own distribution of Backtrack. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thanks again, guys.